I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. So you've been on hormone therapy for metastatic prostate cancer, and now the PSA is beginning to rise. What do you do about it? Well, there are a number of options. First of all, the PSA generally will go up well before any new symptoms develop. So it's a good warning sign that things are changing, but it's not a panic signal that you need to immediately jump onto something new if you're having no particular symptoms. So what do you do if you want to be aggressive? You want to try and stop the PSA from going up further and to bring it back down? Well, depends on certain circumstances. First of all, if you're a patient who has been treated with combined androgen blockade in which you received an anti-androgen along with some form of castration, the first thing we do in that situation is stop the anti-androgen. Why? Because studies have shown that it can actually reverse the situation, it can reduce symptoms, and it can bring the PSA back down in maybe 30 to 50 percent of the cases. So you don't want to start a new treatment at the same time that you're stopping the anti-androgen because then you wouldn't know which one is having its main effect. So the standard of care throughout the world is if you're on an anti-androgen and your PSA is rising, stop it and wait one to two months to see if the PSA is going to, go come, is going to come back down. Now, let's say you've done that or you haven't been on an anti-androgen and your PSA is going up and you've been on medical or surgical castration. Number one, stay on the medical or surgical castration. Why? Because it appears that even though the cancer is getting worse, it'll get worse faster if there's no longer castration ongoing. You want to keep that testosterone down, even though you're going to now try to treat the cancer cells that are no longer responding to that treatment. So stay on that. Now, what do you do next? Well, here we have a considerable debate. We have a number of options available. One of them is called ketoconazole. Ketoconazole is a pill that's given to patients that have fungal infections. But it turns out it actually kills prostate cancer cells and it can reduce the PSA and improve symptoms on average for four or five months in men who have a rising PSA. So that is one option. Another option is to take an estrogen compound, some type of estrogen. We've known for a long time that estrogen was a good treatment. Estrogen stopped being used because when taken as a pill, it can cause serious problems with the heart. But there is an injectable form called estradiol that can be given and can help bring the PSA down and can help improve symptoms. Neither ketoconazole nor estradiol have been studied enough to determine whether they help men live longer. All we can say is it can reduce the symptoms of the disease and it can lower the PSA in many patients. And one of the values of lowering the PSA is it may delay having to go on other forms of therapy. So those are two of the options available, two of the more common options available. Now, if you haven't been on an anti-androgen and you're only on castration, another option is to add an anti-androgen because in some of the men, it will bring the PSA back down. Sometimes, if you've been on one anti-androgen, we can switch you to a different anti-androgen and even though you failed the first one, you may respond to the second one in a small number of cases. So that's one more option that we have available. And so the use of these varying options is something that we can offer to men who have no symptoms and are not yet ready to go on chemotherapy, which will be discussed further in another video. These are secondary hormonal therapies which can help some men. And maybe some of the explanation why the survival of men with metastatic disease has increased compared to, say, 10 or 15 years ago. We don't know which one is best. We don't know the best sequence. But if you're the kind of person that wants to take an aggressive approach to your management, then you go from one to another if the PSA is continuing to rise. 
keeping in mind that we can't say for sure that it improves survival, but it may make you feel better knowing that we're doing everything possible to get your PSA lower and to keep it from rising as quickly as it might otherwise do. Regardless of which of these secondary therapies, the general belief is you should still stay on the medical or surgical castration as long as you are alive. We don't think you should stop that therapy. In another video, I'll also discuss chemotherapy and what to do in those circumstances. Thank you.